Welcome students. We will start with biosynthesis of phenylalanine and tyrosine. Unlike the biosynthesis of tryptophan, uh, this also begins with uh, from corismic acid. But uh, in tryptophan, we have done uh, amination by using L-glutamine. Here we will not be needing any uh, aminations, but first it will undergo 1,3 sigma tropic rearrangement reaction. That we also call it as a Claisen uh, type of 1,3 sigma tropic rearrangement reaction. Uh, this corismic acid we can uh, represent it as OH and here we have it wedge bond uh, O E and COH here we have another COH this can be represented uh, as this is a cyclohexane uh, cyclohexene hex diene cyclohex diene it is not a completely aromatic so it will not be a uh, completely planar these two carbons are sp3 carbons the other four carbons are sp2 carbons so it will not be completely planar but it will be slightly puckered one it will not be as a chair or board forms like cyclohexanes but it will not be planar like phenyl rings so it will be in between that uh, somewhat puckered structure will be there so that puckered structure can be represented something like this. Uh, somewhat like this we can have it where four carbons can be uh, depicted either these four or these four or any of the four carbons, consecutive carbons will be uh, in sp2 so they can be as a, a planar ones, the other two coming out. So this can be then um, uh, the functional groups here can be like if we have a double bonds over here then we can have an OH group here this OH group the other uh, COH group or uh, this particular group can be as O double bond COH and here we can have a one carbon and then third carbon here so this we will have a COH group COH and OH on the opposite sides so that we will have it as a one core so this uh, can be the corismic acid. Here we have this particular group in a uh, pseudo equatorial type. Uh, it is not exactly equatorial because here this is not a cyclohexane or uh, chair form. Uh, par nahi hoga. So this we have equatorial or uh, axial bonds. Nahi banenge, lekin, uh, pseudo equatorial or pseudo axial bonds. Hum so this is in a type of a pseudo uh, equatorial bond. So this corismic acid. with a pseudo equatorial uh, bond with a pseudo equatorial conformation this can be uh, further represented as pseudo axial where Uh, it can undergo this will be in a larger quantity the other will be in a smaller quantities into the pseudo axial uh, conformation uh, from pseudo equatorial it can flip over to pseudo axial conformation that pseudo axial conformation will be also of similar type just the bond uh, positions will be changed. So pseudo axial means this will be our axial uh, position. Here we will have a double bond and then a COOH group. While here we will have this as a double bond and this will be a double bond. Here we have depicted this carbon here. So this carbon is here, so this carbon is here. Then this COH group will be coming over here. So we will have a COH group over here. Then we will have an OH group over here. So that as it was also a pseudo equatorial. So here it will be in a pseudo axial position. This will be as both the groups are on um, uh, axial positions. So they will be uh, in a lesser uh, quantity because they will be highly energetic. This will be in uh, lower in energy 
as compared to this because here both the groups are in equatorial position here both the groups are in axial positions what we can say is that this is a dotted bond this is a wedge bond both are in opposite sides yahan par kya hota hai ki ye jo oh hai wo niche ki taraf mein aa raha hai ye oh hai wo upar ki taraf ja raha hai जब हम इसका फ्लिपिंग करेंगे तो ये एक ऊपर की तरफ कंफर्मेशन जाएगा एक में नीचे की तरफ आएगा बिकॉज दे आर इन ऑपोजिट ओरिएंटेशन वन बिलो द प्लेन दर इज एन सो विलिंग लाइक दिस सो दिस विल बी सूडो एक्सियल कंफर्मेशन ऑफ फोर इसमें एसिड सूडो एक्सियल कंफर्मेशन of porismic acid now this pseudo axial conformation may although it is very small but there will be certain amount of uh, significant amount of this will be in this pseudo axial form to so, yahan par hamare paas kya hai ki there is a lone pair of electrons on this uh, oxygen this lone pair of electrons can move over here so that this now attach कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड विच इज जस्ट लाइन बिलो तो यहाँ पर आपका ये कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड है ये इन वाला मीन्स यहाँ पे इनऑल वाला जो कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड है वो इधर है और रिंग में जो कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड है वो यहाँ पर है सो इट इज जस्ट लाइन अबो दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग सो इसमें इजिली अटैक हो सकता है यहाँ पर सो दैट अटैक विल बी ओवर हियर सो दैट दिस बॉन्ड शिफ्ट ओवर दिस साइड एंड दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर रिलेड बैक टू ऑक्सीजन Uh, so we will get this as a pleasant uh, type of rearrangement a pleasant uh, rearrangement uh, reaction we will get and as such now we will have a six membered ring over here so this uh, six membered ring so Uh, this will now have a COH group over here, or यहाँ पर हमारा एक carbon आएगा. This carbon, uh, this is uh, this carbon that is let us say this as a A B, and this as a uh, C. So here it is A. यहाँ पे हमारा ये B है. B carbon को uh, we will have a carbonyl group because this electrons are coming over here, so double bond बनेगा. कार्बोनिल ग्रुप होगा एंड देन वी विल हैव अ सीओएच ग्रुप दैट इज आवर सी कार्बन देन फर्दर वी हैव दिस बॉन्ड नाउ इज शिफ्टेड ओवर हियर सो डबल बॉन्ड यहां पर आएगा वी विल हैव अ डबल बॉन्ड हियर एंड वी विल हैव ओएच एट दिस पोजीशन सो दिस विल बी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ रीअरेंजमेंट प्रोडक्ट रीअरेंजमेंट प्रोडक्ट्स this we call it as a prephenic acid this will be giving us prephenic acid so this prephenic acid is uh, the one which can be uh, used for uh, biosynthesis of uh, phenylalanine as well as tyrosine uh, this can be depicted as a simple six membered ring With uh, this on the opposite sides double bonds, यहाँ पर एक और एक यहाँ पर आएगा. We will have one COH group over here. The other will be having. So, COH. Group. So what it is? This part is a now uh, pyruvic acid. CH three CO COH is a pyruvic acid. यहाँ पे कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड और यहाँ पर हमारे पास है ओ एच टू सो दिस इज अवर प्रीपेनिक एसिड दिस प्रीपेनिक एसिड कैन अंडरगो डी कार्बोक्सिलेशन रिएक्शन दिस डी कार्बोक्सिलेशन रिएक्शन कैन बी इन टू डिफरेंट वेज let us make it in uh, this way 
where uh, this COH can be drawn as this moiety. Now, uh, when this decarboxylation happens, it will result into aromatization and that aromatization can be of two types. One with the loss of this hydroxyl group and the other with the retention of hydroxyl group. Uh, so there can be two different ways in which this decarboxylation as well as aromatization reaction can happen. So it will be decarboxylation accompanied by aromatization reaction so we will have, let us say first it uh, removes the hydrogen, that is it uh, removes the hydroxyl. So uh, decarboxylation with the loss of hydroxyl group also. Then here we will have COH uh, that, uh, that will be remaining. So. Uh, in this reaction, it will be this the loss will be there. See, uh, OH will be lost, and so uh, because we will get uh, this phenyl pyruvic acid. This is nothing but a phenyl ring and a pyruvic acid is CH3COCOH. So we will have this as a phenyl. pyruvic acid. In another one, another case, what we can have is uh, without loss of uh, hydroxyl group, we can have only loss of carbon dioxide, uh, that is uh, decarboxylation with uh, along with uh, decarboxylation, we are accompanying aromatization, but with a retention of hydroxyl group. With retention of hydroxyl group, here we had loss of hydroxyl group. So, with retention of hydroxyl group, what we will get is this aromatic ring, and uh, with this OH coming over here, and here we will have pyruvic acid. So we will have here para hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid para hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid we will now get so now uh, when this phenyl pyruvic acid we are having This phenyl pyruvic acid undergoes transamination reaction. Transamination reactions may kya hota hai? Ke, uh, ketone or amine group ka interchange hota hai. Ketone and amine groups are getting interchanged. Like uh, we can have in a transamination reaction, we have a CO, say COH reacts with R dash CH NH2 COH uh, in dono ka jab reaction hota hai so we will have R CH NH2 COH plus R dash CO COH is me kya hua ye jo uh, carbon tha yaha par R ke saath ye carbon uh, reduce hua और फिर उसमें अमीनेशन हुआ और इस कार्बन पे ऑक्सीडेशन हुआ और फिर उसका फर्दर ऑक्सीडेशन हुआ पहले हाइड्रोक्सिलेशन हुआ एंड देन फिर ऑक्सीडेशन हुआ और ये कीटोन में बन गया तो अमीन का कीटोन बनता है और कीटोन का अमीन बनता है सो दैट इज व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज ट्रांस अमीनेशन दैट इज ट्रांसफर ऑफ अमीन ग्रुप फ्रॉम वन वन मॉलिक्यूल टू अनदर मॉलिक्यूल एंड कीटो ग्रुप फ्रॉम अनदर मॉलिक्यूल टू द फर्स्ट मॉलिक्यूल सो ये ट्रांस अमीनेशन रिएक्शंस आर catalyzed by vitamin B6 ka jo uh, coenzyme form hai and that we call it as pyridoxal phosphate. Vitamin B6 ka coenzyme form is pyridoxal phosphate 
or PLB and that catalyzes this transamination uh, reaction. So here uh, what does it do is it will be converting the keto acid into an amino acid. It will convert a keto acid into an amino acid. So here we will get L-phenylalanine from phenyl pyruvic acid. A single step reaction, uh, not a single step. Uh, there is uh, three, four steps are there. But those three, four steps, whatever are there, that we will study in detail in uh, the next semester. Next semester, we will go. Technique is zero. That means just here, PLP. Uh, is the one which undergoes uh, catalyzes the transamination reaction, and that is how we get uh, this particular uh, reaction. So, the phenyl pyruvic acid se hume L phenylalanine milta hai. This is the uh, biosynthesis of uh, phenylalanine. Dusra hota hai ki with retention of hydroxyl group jo humne kiya tha, decarboxylation, uh, decarboxylation and aromatization with retention of uh, hydroxyl group from uh, Prefenic acid. So, this may kya hua tha? We have got para hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid. This para hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid, like phenyl pyruvic acid, this also undergoes transamination reaction. In uh, catalyzed by pyridoxal phosphate. So, we will get. At para position, we have a hydroxy group. Here we will have a COH followed by NH2. So this will be giving us L tyrosine. So we get L tyrosine uh, from this uh, particular uh, compound. So this is how. Uh, phenylalanine as well as tyrosine can be uh, synthesized from uh, using this corismic uh, uh, acid. Corismic acid, say, um, uh, L-cryptophan synthesized, or L-phenylalanine, or L.